Welcome, everybody, to Radio Law of Attraction. I'm Lee McCain. And I'm Beth McCain. And together we do this wonderful little radio show where all we do is sit around and just talk about the law of attraction. We sure do. And we have a great time doing it, and there's a lot of news to talk about this week. There is. It's been a busy week. We always say that, but you know what? Each week gets a little busier, but it's a good busy. It sure is. And in this case, we've got a wonderful major announcement. I guess it's the major announcement that we've been waiting for we've been doing as many of you know we've been uh, doing radio syndication spot by spot around the country since february but now uh the beth and lee mccain radio law of attraction show is going national on uh universal 7 radio.com and our flagship station our flagship broadcasting station is warl in providence rhode island they're kind of in the washington dc area Mm -hmm. And uh, Providence, such a beautiful town. I've it been there, sure been is. there many times back in my <laughs> sailor days. In <laughs> your sailor and, days. Yeah, and I, it's it's a wonderful, wonderful town. We used to come into Wilmington, Delaware, a lot. And of course, we'd always uh, you know cheese on out to Providence for a, a a night out on the town, a meal or something like that. So it's just uh, wonderful memories there. And now that's our flagship radio station, AM thirteen twenty, W A R L, Providence. So hello, everybody. Hi. It's, this wow. Is, you got this a lot is, in, uh, didn't boy, you? Well, really you know, fast we've in. only got 10 minutes on this little show, but starting Sunday, June 8th, and that's 9 p.m. Eastern Time and 6 p.m. Pacific Time, mm-hmm. and whatever times you are in between, mm-hmm. I guess it would be 8 o'clock in the evening in Central Time, the show debuts. And um, it's very easy to get if you're not in any of the broadcast areas where we are right now or in WARL's area. Mm -hmm. uh, You can go to www.universal7, that's the number 7, universal7radio.com. That's right. And there will be... We'll be there for an hour. For a whole at hour. At least an hour. Gosh, huh? can you stand us? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun, and we'll have a lot of info and it a will, lot of stories. And just kind of an expanded format. Yeah. Basically a, a, an hour-long version of what we do now, but mm-hmm. a lot of other fun things added in, too. So for those of you who haven't heard the longer version of our shows, uh, now you'll be able to. Yeah, that's e- right. E- every week, every Sunday night. Oh, and I have to make a little shout-out. Okay. To Pat. Hey, Pat. B. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pat is our wonderful friend in uh, and listener in Indiana uh-huh. who has a, a wonderful bee farm. She does. I guess you call it a bee farm. Is I that don't what know. you do? <laughs> I don't know. Well, she does hives. Uh, she does hives. Uh-huh. She doesn't have the hives. No. She just has hives. <laughs> You're funny. Well, no, how do you say that? <laughs> I have hives. Well, they're beehives. Uh-huh. <laughs> so hello, Pat. Hi, Jim. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's that's the big radio news, and we've got a couple of great questions here. We sure do. I have one for you from Sylvia, who is in California. Okay. Hi, Sylvia. And Sylvia uh, asks, she says, I've been visualizing what it is that I want in my life, and I have begun to see the first signs of success. I called my best friend to tell her how excited I was, and she poo-pooed me. (laughs) Now I feel a little doubtful. What can I do? I have friends that poo-poo me all the time, so we're together on on that one, Sylvia. Is that in the dictionary? I, I, guess, I guess it is. Well, I mean, you know, poo poo, you know, okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. All right. So, Sylvia, um, I'm going to turn you over to the lovely Beth McCain and uh, let's see what you have to say for Sylvia. When you begin to align your thoughts and feelings perfectly with your desire and the universe begins to manifest all that you visualized, you want to shout it from the rooftops because of your excitement and joy that it works. Then when you tell someone and they give any reaction other than the one that you wanted, you know, in this case, excitement, you feel let down, you know, but realize it isn't from the universe you feel let down, it is from your friend. You see, the law of attraction is working and you are having success at it, and you also care about what your friend thinks. Her opinion matters to you, but when it comes to the LOA, you may not want to bring in the opinions of others because they will always be there to give you an opinion whether it's the one you wanted or not. If her remarks upset you and make you doubt your own self, then you may want to keep your success and thoughts about your life becoming what you have always wanted it to be to yourself. Unless you've practiced the law of attraction, it can be hard for someone to even understand how it could work, and they doubt something that sounds so easy. But as we know, it takes some determination and changing within yourself for it to work. Maybe secrecy is the best thing for you until you have what it is you desire in your life. 
Don't try to convince her because then you're encroaching upon her world that she's creating. Just, you know, email us with your excitement. There you go. <laughs> we love getting emails. <laughs> Like, yeah, we do. We love to get any kind of email, you know, especially the success stories. We love to get the questions, but it's wonderful to hear how people are doing at it, too. It really is. Yeah, it sure is. All right, Lee, I got one for you now. All right, let's hear it. Okay, this is from Bree in Georgia. Hello, Bree. Hi, Bree. And she writes, My husband has some physical health issues and doesn't practice the law of attraction. I apply the LOA to my life every day. How can I help him with his health? That's a very good question because you you wonder about helping others on a visualization level because it's, you know, yeah. you know, so yeah. you go for it, Lee. Well, Bree, it sounds like a touchy subject of sorts because you want to help him, but at the same time, you don't want to get into what he's creating in his own world because then you're kind of putting it upon him. Mm -hmm. So visualizing that he is well and healthy, and I mean visualize by seeing his cells working together to make everything right within him, and then see a perfect specimen of health in that, vis in that visualization. See, so see him with you and he is healthy. When you're around him, don't constantly point out his health issues. Don't deny them, meaning that when it's doctor time, listen and help him with his medications and such. But besides that, don't point out the health issues. Every time you see him, see he's well, and don't overanalyze everything with his health. Enjoy being with him. Talk about things that are positive with him. And when he says he feels bad, help him with what he needs. And then see him in perfect health with a perfect attitude for health as well. And when he gets down, help him up again. But again, don't focus on the illness, only on the good that's in his life. Because if he has an ache, let him tell you how he feels and then ask him what you can do to make him feel good. By continually finding the positive and corralling him over to the positive side, well, that's what's going to help him. And if he has to wallow in his illness, you have to realize that this is his choice. But you can make it easier and better through your own perception. He needs hope that he'll feel better, and you have the hope within you as well as he does. So if you help him to find it and visualize until you're both happy and healthy, it's all going to work out fine. That's, that's really how you bring the law of attraction into a situation without having to force it into his world. And the other thing is, when you are focusing on that illness yourself, mm -hmm. you also are opening a little bit of a gateway for yourself as well. That's and that's true. why it's so important to focus on the positive, the right. positive. Uh, and I know sometimes that can be hard during a painful situation, mm -hmm. but find that positive. Absolutely. Find that good. And I know Bree can do it. I know you can. Well, folks, um, again, thank you so much for listening this week. We'll be back again next week. By the way, we will always have the little 10-minute show. Yeah, too, we will. In, 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 you know, plus, plus the hour-long show. So you can always uh, come to this and find this, and, and we enjoy it. Uh, just as much as doing the bigger show, and we hope you'll tune into it on not this Sunday, but next Sunday, June 8th. Uh, again, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, and all times in between there at uh, Universal 7 Radio. That's Universal, the number 7 radio.com. And right. then otherwise over the air in the usual places. And, you know, as you always know, if you have any questions, just email us, look at the website email addresses there. All right. All right. See you next week. Bye. Bye.